Risk on, risk off. You hear it all the time, but even at the best of times, there's no such thing as risk off in trading, right? For the longest of times, I, I hated and still do hate that acronym. I, I hate what it stands for um, and what the market sort of interprets it as. But ultimately, it, it's, it's just a case of, I suppose, traders are looking for the easiest and quickest solution by which they can determine okay, what does this data mean or what does this risk event mean and the implications and therefore are we net buyers of dollars, are we net sellers of dollars, you know, are, are we moving into treasuries versus stocks, uh, you know, what, what is it? So ultimately the fact that over the probably course of the last two years everyone got so excited about, okay, well is this risk on, risk off, it's also bred incredible amounts of complacency. So stop ticking boxes and move on accordingly. That's how you should be approaching Forex trading, according to Ken. You know, I'll try and measure fundamentals on their own merits and, and behave accordingly. Um, so, you know, as far as if, if we're looking at it on that basis, then certainly I think the sterling um, has, has that potential to, at the very least, retain its, you know, its element of stability. Um, but beyond that, to be honest, I mean, you know, euro dollar, if you look at it in that regard, and everyone does obviously, for the most part, we're in, we're in a three big figure range roughly, um, and we're more or less, you know, sat in the middle of it presently. Um, everyone's determined to see euro dollar lower, but they have been positioned that way for two years now and have done nothing but wear pain. Um, the upside is limited because, well, ultimately you can't deny the underlying which is you know that the picture is far from rosy in the eurozone um, so it, it's a tough one um, yeah I think you just have to basically take everything at its you know on its merit and, and behave accordingly